Well, the team's going to decide who actually starts this match as the legal partner. Seems to be a little trouble in paradise before the opening bell. Okay, it looks like we finally have got it settled here. Here There's we go. The bell. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. It is critical to put teamwork ahead of ego in this match. Well, this match is underway, but as we just saw, there's clearly a lack of respect between these superstars. Yeah, it really is winning by any means necessary, even resorting to mind games if you seemingly have to. Saxton, who's to say it's mind games? Sometimes you just straight up don't like someone, and you want to let them know both to take them off their game and to come out looking like the better performer. Great analysis, Corey. It's what I do, Cole. He's tagging out. Moss feeling a sense of confidence here. Quick thinking pays off. Nice. That don't need to wake you up or knock you out. Uh-oh, capture. Oh, face buster by the game. They're going to catch him off guard. Elevates the shoulder. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. Counter by Mosh. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Reversal. Can he take advantage? And he sends him into the corner. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Really just laying it in. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Vicious right forearm. Oh my God, look oh no. And Fiend falls to a counter. <laughs> Elbow puts an end to that. Suplex. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. if he can keep it up. I oh, had that well scouted. Tough position to be caught in here. Face first. Able to elude it. Get his press. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. No. <laughs> And Triple H's opposition showing some answers to the test the game presents. And that was Holster showing all that training pays off. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. A counter by Hogan. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Great reversal. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. 
Looked at Wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Face first. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Kicking out next time. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Solid punch. And he finds an answer for the Hulkster. Hogan getting out of harm's way. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Wow, what timing beats the cat. There's a slam. We know what comes next. Big leg drop by Hogan. No way Fiend's getting up now. And they're still in this. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Ooh, going over the top, all the way to the floor. And Hogan continuing his charge. Holster's in a position of power here. And the he gets the kick out after the one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. To the R, hyper extends your elbow. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Turning the tables there. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Close line. Hoist it up. Jeez. Incredible power slam. But a watch paralysis is setting in. Night night. The fiend landed that perfectly. Curve. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, Rep. Keep these guys in check. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. see a kick out there. Comes in off the tag. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Kick to the gut. Break the run into a neck breaker. He gets tagged in. And the Fiend looking for support from the crowd. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. let's get it on. Focusing on the midsection, knocking the wind out of him. 
The Fiend reverses. We got to hold it there. Oh, and just snapping the neck. Ouch. Into the corner. This can't be good. Uh-oh. Face first. And it looks like that opened Mosh right up. He takes control. someone like that? He might be harsh, but he's right, Byron. I don't know what caused the issues between them earlier, but it looks like it carried over into the match. The lion is ready to unleash another display of pure dominance. Now he is sat beneath the learning tree of the modern day Maharaja, and he is ready to show what he's learned. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing Indus Sheer from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds. Veer Mahal! Veer has arrived and there is nothing to fear but Veer himself. All jokes aside, Veer really is a frightening sight. It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. His opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, 
But I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as LA Knight, you shine bright naturally. LA Knight in the ring tonight and ready for the whole WWE Universe to be shouting his name. There is no question, LA Knight knows how to get the crowd going when he's got a mic in his hand. But now it's time to back it up in the ring. Hopefully in this match, he'll let his actions do all the talking. Either way he does it, I'm sure LA Knight has a lot to say tonight. And he's standing in the intimidating shadow of Veer. Yeah, Corey, and Veer possesses the ferocity of a lion, which only makes him that much more intimidating. A bit chaotic, Veer has been unpredictable about who, what, and when he attacks. That's just another layer to his prowess. That is attacking with malicious intent. That was a showing of control and aggression, something they'll want to keep up. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Gets him with the counter. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Back shoulders down. And a kick out at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. the eyes come on a simple eye gouge that's not legal that was just wrong you should be a better person than that no! and he saw that coming from night oh tossed aside not the prettiest thing you'll ever see but it sure looks effective from here we often talk about the smash mouth style of la night but his athleticism sometimes gets overlooked Corey, which aspect of his entering game do you think will be the most integral here? Athleticism is great, Cole, but you can't discount the power of a simple, in-your-face offensive style. That's what's going to work for LA Knight in this match. He can end it here. And he breaks the count quickly. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Mahan with the reversal. Oh. Ooh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Close up. If that didn't strike fear in your heart, nothing will. Yeah, that was as much a warning as it was a maneuver. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Back elbow completely cuts them off. And he slides him back to the mat. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's yeah. count, Cole. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Oh, this can end it right here. Here it comes. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Superstar could do it to put him away. What a shot. Back and forth we go. Oh. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Neither competitor is backing down. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Question for you guys, whose game is it? With the reversal. Scoop slam. Boom. 
Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Knight moves out of the way. Hoist it up. Down. Looking for the victory. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh boy, ready to strike, guys. What are we going to see? The cold line. Knight has his shot lined up. LA Knight BFT. Will Knight end this? That's got to be it. Two. And the victory. Here is your winner, LA Knight. They are seen red after this loss. This loss has to have only angered Veer more, which I didn't think was possible. Here comes the heart of Chase U. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the uh, Hell. One of the most impressive and maybe a bit overzealous students to come out of Chase University. But Thea Hale is dead set on proving that she is a grown woman who can get things done on her own. Thea Hale is ready to step up to any challenge. Hale's set to change the minds of all the doubters and naysayers tonight. Here comes Caden Carter. Such an exciting talent to watch. And from the Philippines, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Caden Carter. A championship winning college basketball standout, a bona fide athlete, and has continued her success in WWE. Already has won the NXT Women's Tag Titles, and I see plenty more success in her future. WWE Universe hyped, and I can't wait. Oh, indeed, I believe a highlight real performance is in order tonight. One of the most exciting superstars in the women's division, Caden Carter, looking for a big 
tough win here tonight. Yeah, Cole, I'd say that Carter views every win as a win. Her tenacity is what's made her such a formidable opponent during her time here in WWE. And that tenacity seems unshakable at times. But what Thea Hale lacks in in-ring experience, she more than makes up for in a willingness to learn from her mistakes. She's always studying, studying her matches, studying her opponents, and that teachable spirit will allow her to go far in this business. And there's the crucifix, nicely done. Straight four. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Thea gets the better there. The WWE's resident spitfire, Caden Carter, really doesn't make it easy for her opponents to find an answer to her high energy. While Carter does have incredible energy, I'd argue things are a bit different for her here, Cole. She isn't used to the pacing of singles action, and that might leave her vulnerable this time around. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose-off. Oh, perfect kick. Evading offense. Flying forearm. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Caden put a hurting on her with that one. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. <laughs> that horse back has attack. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Uh, almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. From behind, back suplex. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. And she dodged that one nicely. Uh oh, Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Oh! Oh, cover! Fends off the three count. She's still as determined as ever. Extend your elbow. Jarring impact. Spectacular athleticism. Dealing out some damage and looking good doing it. Oh, disabling the leg with that. That was on target. Hard to remain on your feet after that. Has the arm into a hammerlock since then. Heartbreaker. Oh. Nice hip toss. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Outside Whoa. of the ring now. What's the plan here? Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Hale able to ward that off. Count out a minute. She needs to get back in. Oh, 
But now, belly stop. Oh. Throws her back in from ringside. Oh, face first. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This is a very dangerous situation now. Able to fight out with a punch to the face. Ooh, she just turned it around. Now, it's an Oku driver. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Double axe handle smash. The whole ring in between them, and a collision in the corner. Oh, right to the leg. Big form. Oh, my God, he's got him in. Oh, what a way to shatter an arm. Oh, uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy. Nice escape. Kick right to the leg. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Oh, man. Slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. The universe appreciating these athletes going on. Caden Carter taking a step back and measuring her opponent. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, love to see this. Into a hammerlock flatliner. That move shows you Carter's desire to win here. Oh, submission hold applied. Rolling death lock. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. These women refusing to back down, going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to prove who's better. What a decisive victory for Caden Carter. Just incredible. Here's your winner, Caden Carter. A big loss after that count out. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. Here's why Cena is the best. It's all about the body, the look. They call him Johnny Large Meat for a reason. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing weapons of mass destruction from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, John Cena.
It is true that Cena is what we've called a stud back in the day, but he's so much more than that, right? I don't think I like this John Cena. This is what Cena helped us evolve past as an industry, but he's been sent tumbling back in time. The Big Bad Wolf is on the hunt. Wolfgang stays in a perpetual state of reckless abandon. This is going to break down fast. And his opponents, first, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! There's nothing subtle about Wolfgang. He's here to fight the best and be the best and smash people's faces in. Wolfgang and Mark Coffey won tag team gold within weeks of crossing the pond to NXT. Soon, everyone will recognize Gallus boys on top. Wolfgang operates at a special level of brute force. This is a one-man wrecking crew. It's not just a contest for Wolfgang. It's not a test of skill or a battle for pride. This is war. Behold the intimidating sight of Gunther. The ring general is ready to come out here and do what he does best inside the ring. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther! We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred, and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. The Hardcore Hall of Famer. And from parts unknown, weighing in at 200. And 87 pounds, Mankind! Mankind is truly a deranged miscreant who loves to inflict pain on his foes. Yeah, it's so weird. He seems to get joy out of any pain, even if that pain is his own. Mankind has proved that you do not judge a book by its cover. Yeah, definitely not the dictionary definition of a WWE superstar, but he has become a legend on his own terms. Here we go as we kick off this huge fatal four-way match. Set for action, we have John Cena, Wolfgang, Gunther, and Mankind. I expect this fatal four-way is going to devolve into chaos pretty quickly. I hope all four superstars are prepared. Sidewalk slam. Painted 
right back with a reversal. Oh, you're a pin uppercut. Elbow drop. Byron, a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. in the jaw! My goodness! That's insulting. Practically never ending blows. Compliant Possum! Shoulders down! Stops the count before it, too. I think this match still has a ways to go. <laughs> what impact! And he kicks his opponent away. And this is just unmatched brutality. He's absorbed some damage already. Cena showing off his true greatness. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Turns that back on Cena. Reciprocating the initial reversal. him off. Toss back into the ring. Oh, God. Shot to the chest. He moved, but can he capitalize? There, spinning your inagi. Able to evade. Drop kick hits the mark. He's looking a little weary now. This match certainly has taken its toll. Keep it up with three other superstars will wear you down. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches. What? Just relentless. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Straight into the post on the outside. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Wrench in the arm. Boom! Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Planning on what to do next. What now? What now? This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Well scattered reversal there. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, so much damage inflicted. And he goes for the pin. thought that was it. That's not right. And here's a cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close.
but the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now. Springboard stunner by Cena. you're made of. Toss their opponent. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Got Hosting up their opponent. Oh, the planet with a Uranagi. Wolfgang just closed the book on this one. To set up a cutter. Amazing resilience from Wolfgang, willing himself to the brink of victory. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. The cross the top rope. A timely counter by Wolfgang. And another counter. Oh, no, don't do this. No, no, no. Mr. Sokka with a battle call. It's over. This is vile. Can you imagine what it would do to him? He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Got to find a way to get out of this. Targeting the throat there. Throw the victory here. And he fights it off. He just won't give up. He can end it here. He got him. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Gunther wants to finish this. Now he kicks out somehow. It was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. And mankind steers clear. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Uh-oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! And he gets delivered back into the ring. And gets tossed back into the back. Did you hear that impact? Set straight into the barricade. Brutality coming right at you. And one game is giving every bit as good as he's gotten so far. All oh, that Gunther's work is being broken down by the second. He's in some real trouble. Down, get out. Incredible. Gunther doesn't just want to fight, he wants to battle. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. And now he's going to lock in this submission. Camel clutch and sitting deep into it. Well, this isn't good. Right now, he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. And Guther gets rocked again by some well-timed offense. Cena knows it's crunch time, the time where the greats come up in the clutch. Scouted. And he tosses him back in now.
Hooked up. Shin breaker. But now we see man. Oh, mankind. No, 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 no. Mankind. Oh, the man of a claw. And he got in there. I thought that was it. He reverses it. This could be it. Separation. Hooked up. Driven down. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. He thinks he has it. Fights out in two. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Oh, what a knee left. Somebody better check his nose. And Guther clearly not impressed by his opponent thus far. Side headlock applied. Oh, good Watch. measure. Taking the easy way. Oh, man. Turns it into a statement DDT. Kick to the body. Uh, double arm DDT. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. To set up a cutter. Steered clear of that. Oh, what a close line. They're setting him off. Double suplex. And he tosses him back in now. Cena telegraphed that. Cena powering up his opponent into position. Attitude adjustment. And mankind's lead up. Meanwhile, we see Gunther. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Chop. Oh, double boots. And a double DDT. Oh, no, don't do this. No, no, no. Mr. Sokka with the battle of claw. It's over. This is vile. I think he's got it locked in. <laughs> that hurt. And that'll break things up. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Got it. Big boot. He's taking this to the floor now. Right in the face. My God. They're setting him up. Double suplex. What a devastating maneuver. Whip back into the ring. Bad predicament right here. Oh, look at this. To the outside. This could get wild. Sledgehammer right to the gut. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That's the kind of suspense. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Mr. Sacco and the man of claw. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of... And he may have felt his grip slipping until he releases the hole. Still able to do some considerable damage, though. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. And he gets.
gets delivered back into the ring. What are we about to see next? Whiplash neck.
Everybody, take cover. Get out of the way. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate This man is adrenaline personified. Warrior runs faster, hits faster, even wins faster. Man, my eyes can barely keep up with him. Imagine being his opponent, Corey. Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room. The mind games of Karrion Cross should be on full display in this one. Yeah, it's seemingly never enough for Cross to just tear his opponents apart with his physicality. He's always compelled to systematically tear them apart mentally as well. Win or lose. Very true. Cross is often even more dangerous after he loses, but I imagine he's coming to this one determined to win it all. And he's going to have his hands full with the ultimate ward. Picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. The ankle lock. It's difficult to get out of the ankle lock, but he's able to do it. Uh-oh. How did scout it? Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Ouch. And again, you can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Carefully measured. Oh. Again? And targeting the leg there. If I could use only one word to describe Ultimate Warrior, it would have to be intense. But you have to admit, Corey, sometimes that can be a detriment, right? Oh, yeah, Cole. Which is why I think it might be in his best interest to slow down a bit, to think before he acts. Powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Taking this to the floor. Oh my God, what an elbow. Left and right, over and over. 
pinning their opponent. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Looks like Carrion's feeling it. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Choke slam! Oh, foot just stomping down. Cross looking a little less inevitable after that hit. And Warrior there looked like he was enjoying the taste of combat. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Way up high. All the way down with an atomic drop. Hoisted up. Back suplex. And down with the suplex. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Uh oh. Look at this. She just tossed the leg. He may be in a bad way here. Ultimate Warrior just letting himself run wild. We'll see if he can maintain that unmatched energy. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Oh, Mountie and now just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. My God, what a striking display. Every strike more devastating than the last. Implanted by the DDT. Vicious right forearm. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Submission locked in. I'm not quite sure. Trying not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Oof. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. And Cross fends him off. That one did the job to bust Warrior wide open. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Boom. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. And oh hey, my God, what a fire! That's a job. Thunderous clothesline. Darian Cross. And Warrior moves. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Well, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, his opponent's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what pain. does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac.
the most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty Deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 357 pounds. The NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kim Wilson, pretty deadly. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other. The epitome of teamwork. Yeah, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I boy! Not. No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. kind of them allowing the WWE Universe to bask in their wonderfulness. Well, I have to admit, they're as dangerous as they are flamboyant. Pretty much like their name says. The Phenom has arrived. An ominous feeling has entered the air. Superstars in history. A man whose reputation precedes him. A myth. A legend in this industry. The dead man possesses seemingly supernatural powers. Truly frightening sight. The dead man's wrath is unending. Welcome to damnation. Yeah, it's just him, Oos. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay. You look at what Jey Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief, went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jey will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself.
already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. Classy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect, pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too, and and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Ooh. Great counter by Wilson. A stalemate of counters. Sent into the corner. Kick gets reversed. Dodges out of the way. DDT! Spiked him. In off the tag. Shattering boot. This could do it. A kick out before three. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. DDT producing a trampling. Wilson felt that coming. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Just reeling from that offense. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. He's turning the tables. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Here he comes off the tag. The absolute intimidation of The Undertaker in effect here. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on?
for our sport. That unraveled on Elton. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Where's the honor in that? It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. himself. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. There he goes, right into the corner. Striking down with the axe handle.
The Queen. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's already a legend because this is a what have you done for me lately business. And the Queen never rests on her laurels, never spends any more time than needed celebrating the history she's made. Charlotte is constantly moving forward to become the greatest superstar sports entertainment has ever known. This woman will tie her opponent up in knots. You're right about that, Cole. Shayna Baszler is so confident in her abilities and her knowledge of this game. Well, who can forget Baszler's incredibly dominant run as NXT Women's Champion? Well, I'd just like to send my condolences to anybody whom Shayna Baszler sets her sights on. Shayna Baszler here looking ready for action. A superstar known for her very technical, very methodical style in the ring, that catches, catch can style that drives her offense, considered a submission magician. Baszler said it herself. Whoever's in the ring with her, they have three very clear options. Tap, snap, or nap. More superstars could learn a thing or two about succinctness from Baszler. Her style definitely leaves little room for interpretation outside of those three very clear directives. Well, she has to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the queen, and I think we already know how that's gonna go. The top of the mountain, the pinnacle of the women's division, Charlotte is the benchmark. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Lands the elbow. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Counters with an attack on Charlotte. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Eat defeat. Counter by Charlotte. Will this be enough? She kicks out and one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Heads out of the ring. What's next? She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Tossed into the corner. Boom, right to the midsection. Charlotte Flair has shown time and time again that she knows how to win when the pressure's on. Corey, what do you think will be the key for the queen tonight? I'd wager a guess that Charlotte's going to stay on her opponent, not give her an inch of breathing room. Charlotte can beat you in so many ways, but sometimes the smothering technique is all you need. Taking aim on the arm. Can she do it here? Power right out at one. She likes
likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Ooh. Insulting. That's going to fire you up with anger. Trapping the leg here. Oh, look at the torque. Quite the predicament for her here, but she's able to slip through and reverse the move. With the spear! As graceful as it was damaging, Flair with absolute cool intentions. across and an elbow drop to the arm connects on the kick stomping down oh what a forearm club thunderous club comes down very effective elbow drop she's got it got her shoulders down she breaks the ref's count not even letting the ref get to the two count Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, did you hear that? She's taking a beating here. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Huge elevation on the backdrop. Carefully placed stump to the arm. And Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. All hail the Queen of Spades. Charlotte showing she's not out of it. Yeah, Charlotte able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Shayna Baszler's got her opponent right where she... Uh-oh. Respectful. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Inside the ring now. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Charlotte needs to utilize some of that famous flair stamina to get back in this. I agree with you. What a punch. Baszler's attack. Wow. Lock it in. The Dragon Sleeper. The Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Stiff elbow will break that up. Hooked up. Keep attacking. Charlotte must be thinking about ending things sooner rather than later. How's that for a counter? Look at that power, Byron. Yeah, that was just a kick. 
intent. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Oh, arm stopped by Baszler. This could be big. Going up high. From the top. Oh, she misses the mark. She sent flying into the corner. Not where you want to be right now. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A storied career. Rollins
Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. And the bell rings for this non-title match. Yes, non-title, but that does not change the fact that depending on the outcome, it could very easily lead to a title shot down the line. Oh, absolutely, Byron. There's still a lot that can be earned here tonight. And his opponent is Seth Rollins, who really has gone through a whole lot of changes in the last few years. You forgot the freaking, you fool. And that other word you're looking for is adapt. Rollins has transformed himself to meet every new challenge he faces. He's constantly innovating and setting the tone for what a superstar should be. Super kick! Oh, God, that hurt. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. On a single leg takedown. Oh, look at this. Using his leg strength to escape. Put it in position now. Oh, what's in the throat? He can pin his opponent right here. Only a one count before the kick out. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Seth Rollins is in complete control. Seth's doing whatever he wants because he can. Seth Rollins might be one of the most unpredictable opponents you can face in WWE. Where do you even start against Rollins, Corey? You're right, Cole. Rollins loves to keep everyone guessing. That's been his M.O. for a while now. Another thing Rollins loves is attention from his opponents, from the WWE Universe, from everybody. If you can catch Rollins when he turns his back to you, you should be able to attack. What a shot! This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, strong impact! Rollins dodges in the nick of time. Double underarm hook, blocked, and into a clothesline! Oh, this is a great move, the play buster! And now thrown back into the ring. It's about that time, gentlemen. 
Time for him. He's got him scouted. Rollins. There's a. This could be it. Cover. He narrowly avoids the count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Boom! Rip Courtney! Left with the point of the elbow. Slips out of the way. Quick back elbow. Detours that. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Stop! Now Rollins needs to end this. Takes the cover. He manages to kick out. What strength. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. Oh, man. Armbreaker takes him down. He knew that was coming. Single leg drop kick caught him. Rollins got surprised there. Cover here! He breaks the ref's count before two. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. DDT! Fight! Ooh. Ah, knee left. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Cracked around into a neck breaker. And he slides him back to the mat. Set up in the corner of the ring. is your winner. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins once again standing victorious. Congrats to Seth Freakin' Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome. Here comes the pit bull of the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. Nile's already proven to be an extremely hard worker and one of the grittiest competitors around. Bailey wants to make an example of this woman. She needs to do everything she can to stop that. She needs to be the absolute best version of herself here tonight.
And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bailey. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Well, damage control looks ready for a fight, but most likely not a fair one. I mean, Nia went through so many ups and downs early in her sports entertainment career, but she's on her own path now and doing things her way, redefining what it means to be a hybrid fighter with her speed, power, and MMA expertise. And if I had to use one word to describe Ivy Nile, it would be relentless. But you have to imagine Bailey isn't going to let any of that affect her performance here tonight. Partially because she's just that self-absorbed, but also because she knows exactly what she's doing once that bell rings. A true mastermind with expert level in-ring abilities. Never underestimate Bailey. She anticipated that one. Look at Bailey, those press! Oh wow. Added damage. Just never had a chance to block any of those. The strength of that slam! She's fighting back. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. And a suplex. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man, oh, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Staved off that attack. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. She throws her back in. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Oof. It's mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Here we go. It's popping off. Bam! Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. The fight is on, and it's furious. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Devastating. Whoa, roll up out of nowhere! She kicks out with authority after two. Just barely, but it counts. Insulting. 
A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. She's showing signs of slowing now. Smart offense from Bailey as this convention keep her down. Powers through after two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. A steady stream of moves taking out Nia. Ivy has to find a way to turn things around. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Ooh. Great job anticipating Ivy. deserved glory.